This morning I've decided to head down to my local patch of the River Thames and the reason I wanted to come down here this morning is because actually there's a spot here um, which I noticed a few months ago when I was down here trying to find some wildlife um, that I thought would lend itself really nicely to an autumn image. Um, there's some trees which sit out on a little island and I thought you know when those trees start to turn gold and red that will make a really nice image. But in my mind's eye, I've got this image with nice light and maybe a bit of mist over the river. Um, and of course, this morning, it being a Saturday, it's grey and overcast as it usually is for us photographers. Um, but I thought I'd come down anyway, mainly, I guess, because we're going to be away for the next few weeks and I'm worried that we're probably just going to miss the best of the autumn conditions here in the UK anyway. Um, but I thought maybe I'll pop down and just see if it actually is as good as I remember it. Um, treat this as a little bit of a scouting mission and I don't know maybe we'll maybe we'll be able to make an image out of it anyway but the other thing I wanted to do whilst I'm here given that the lighting conditions aren't great I thought it might be a good excuse to try my hand at a little bit of uh, more intimate style landscape photography so I'm a big fan of intimate landscapes but I'm not very good at taking intimate landscape images um, so I thought it might be a good opportunity this morning just to have a little bit of a practice. I think there's a, certainly a different skill involved in trying to pick out those intimate compositions. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go this morning, see if I can make any images, um, and we'll see how we get on. So I'm down here at my spot where there's this little island with the trees on it and actually it's working really quite nicely. Um, when it comes to compositions, um, one of the things which I think probably works quite well when you're trying to find a composition is if you can find something which maybe has a little bit of a story within it, rather than just randomly taking a shot of just any old tree because it looks pretty or a scene just because it looks aesthetic. Compositions work nicely if you can find some kind of story behind um, the image or some kind of story that works in, in sort of within that composition. Um, it doesn't have to be something which is obvious, it doesn't have to be something, oops, some geese flying over, <laughs> it doesn't have to be something which you expect everyone who looks at the image to get, but if you in your own mind can have something in your mind when you're looking at something, then it means that there might just be a little bit more that people can get from that image when they look at it, if that makes sense. When I first saw this little island, I kind of had that feeling about it. You know, you've got this tree which has fallen down into the river, and it's looking a little bit lonely out there on its own, and I think, you know, anything that has a tree out on its own in the river has always got a little bit of a, a story, that kind of story behind it, but you can read into it. But I just feel that that kind of thing helps me when I'm trying to work out a composition. If I can find some kind of theme to an image, then I think, or I like to think, that people viewing that image will be able to, you know, maybe come up with their own ideas or their own stories behind the image as well. But I do think that this could work quite well, probably work better on another day. But what's working well today is the fact that it's nice and still. Um, there's not too much wind which means I can do a long exposure and those trees aren't going to be moving about in it so that's working well. Um, so I think actually this has worked okay this morning despite the flat light. So I did, I did promise that I was going to have a go this morning at doing some more intimate landscapes, um, maybe some abstracts, and I think what I'm going to try doing is some ICM, or intentional camera movement, and this is one of those things which is a bit, something I'm not too sure, it's never something which I've tried doing before, um, basically the idea behind it is you have a slightly longer exposure, you just move the camera about whilst you're you, whilst you take the camera, so you end up with a blurred, abstract image. Um, 
some people love it, some people hate it. Um, I've certainly seen some nice images which I've really liked using ICM. I know Hannah's a fan of, of this technique as well. Um, but it's not something which I've ever really given a go, so I thought I'll give it a go now and just see if, see if I can come up with something which I like. Um, and I've got these flowers here which are quite bright and stand out against the, the dark background and I think that this will lend itself quite well to an ICM type image. So I'm just going to have a little bit of a play for a few minutes and just see if I can come up with an image which I like. So I must admit I've always been a little bit unsure about ICM myself. Um, but I've got to say, I actually quite enjoyed doing that. It's a little bit of an exercise. Um, I've got the camera on about a half second exposure. And because there's such a high contrast between these white flowers and the dark background, I was sort of moving the camera about and trying different camera movements to see what sort of effects you can get. But because of that high contrast, it created some really quite nice effects. Um, so I'm actually quite pleased with how some of these images have turned out. Um, but I do appreciate that ICM is a bit marmitey. Some people like it, some people hate it. Um, I'd love your feedback on these images below, so do let me know what you think and whether it's something I should maybe try again in the future. I think it's probably time for one last image this morning, um, and I've decided to talk for this dead tree which is sat over on the other side of the river. It's, it's half in half out of the river um, and it's got these really quite nice gothic branches poking out and I quite like that. I'll probably take this image, this is probably going to be the last one of the morning and then we'll head back. Today's actually turned out slightly better than I'd initially thought it would based on the light. So um, I was a bit worried that it wasn't going to work so well with the grey skies and the flat light. And um, actually, I think it's worked okay. I think for these sorts of images, that kind of flat light works fine. Um, I do think, however, that this location would be much better in a few weeks' time once the trees have turned more brown and gold. But, of course, unfortunately, we're going to be away in New Zealand in a few weeks' time, so we're probably going to miss the peak of that colour, unfortunately. But do let me know what you think about the images I've taken, and also let me know about the ICM. So I've never been too sure about ICM in the past, but actually I've really enjoyed playing about with it today. Um, it's been quite an interesting exercise. And if um, I know it's one of those things that some people absolutely love it, and some people hate it. Um, but if it's something that you've ever thought about giving a try, then I'd certainly recommend giving it a go because it, it, it was just good fun to be to be doing it. So yeah, do recommend that. But yeah, so we'll probably be back in a couple of weeks' time. There's going to be a little bit of a gap in videos whilst we're away. Um, but uh, yeah, do hit the bell button and then you'll be notified of when our next video is up. And we'll see you next time, probably from somewhere in New Zealand. Mm -hmm.